My name is Griff and uh, uh, I'm sitting here in the replica writing shed which has been on a, a tour all around Wales and parts of Britain. It's, it's across the, the Irish Sea on a Stena ferry <laughs> and it's uh, it's also been uh, to see all the NATO leaders. It's, it's a replica of the ship which sits above Larne, looking out over the Gower Peninsula, in which Dylan Thomas wrote some of his, some of his best and most loved poetry. And this shed has finally made its way at the end of its long journey to London. And we're sitting here, you can hear out there, you can hear the noise of Store Street because we're just just off the Tottenham Court Road. We're in Fitzrovia, on the edge of Fitzrovia. And when Dylan Thomas first came to London in 1934, at the age of 20, he went out. If the, the thing that he wanted most of all to do was to be taken by his friends who were at the Chelsea School of Art to come here to Fitzroy to visit all the pubs because those pubs were full inhabited by um, the greatest artists and writers of his day. What we're doing this coming weekend, the 25th and 26th, is celebrating the centenary of Dylan's birth. And we're also celebrating in as festival way as we can the tradition of this sort of unregarded part of London being the cradle of creativity in Britain over the last 150 years. It runs with an area that runs from the British Museum across to Broadcasting House and the BBC where he worked as it were for both <laughs> because the old Ministry of Information was up there, that's the Senate House, just the uh, the British Navy. He, he was making uh, films in Golden Square during the war, writing films which were then um, uh, uh, put into action at the Ministry of Information, the sort of propaganda centre. But that was the same place that George Orwell had uh, made as his the basis for 1984. So all across Victoria we have events in the Senate House, we have talks and lectures, we have walks which leave once an hour from the Senate House and we'll take you through these pubs which Dylan visited and which he drank in but which he mostly talked in, which he held court in, which as he became more confident he became king of. He held court in one end of the week sheaf and Julian McLaren Ross held court in the other. Um, we are in a place which to him was like uh, an inland country. We have uh, events, one-man shows, we have readings, and we climax with a terrific gala. Uh, I'm going to be there reading uh, a little bit of Mark Thomas's, of, 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 well, a little bit of, of Dylan's own words to accompany Mark Thomas's music. We have the camera art of Wales, but we're joined by Jonathan Price, by Tom Hollander, by well, Bathurst, by John Owen Jones, and uh, uh, and we're going to have an evening of uh, poetry, of music, but mostly of celebration of a hundred years of Dylan Thomas. Hi, I'm Jason Morell, director of the Dylan Thomas in Fitzrovia Festival, and you have been listening to the Backstage Pass on K2K Radio. Double Brownie.